All right, so that tea time for tomorrow morning? Okay, yeah. Oh, excuse me, I gotta go. Oh. Mr. Cake. Yes, President Head, how are you? Good, good to, to see you again. Good to see you. You know, I wish I was here on better terms, but I'm not, Mr. Cake. What's, what seems to be the problem? Admissions are down. Did you realize this? Well, um, I haven't taken a look at the numbers today. They're around here somewhere. I can get them out. I can get them to you this afternoon, though. We really need to be on top of it. Okay. All right. Well, I, I'm. You know, I feel comfortable with it. You know, our. You know, my people are getting ready. They're amping up. We're getting ready to go out to those schools. We're going to get those uh, the signatures on the uh, applications. We're going to be fine. Well, let me tell you how we're not fine. I just came from a board meeting. Admissions is so down that we're going to have to cut positions. No longer can we be gatherers. We have to be hunters. Okay. We have got to get admissions up, no matter what it takes. Are okay. you reading me? I hear what you're saying. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And you know, my people, they're, they're, I mean, they're hungry for it. They want those students. They're going to go after them really aggressively. We're getting, you know, the training and everything okay. ready. Uh, they're going to be ready for it. You are training. We are doing training. Yes, it starts next week. I'll have that agenda for you this afternoon. That sounds great. And every Friday, I'm going to check on admissions. This is pretty serious, Mr. Caden. Can I count on you? You can count on me starting next Friday. I'll have some numbers for you that, you know, you're going to be proud of. Oh. We're going to be, we're going to be fine. See how I'm smiling now? <laughs> I knew I could count on you, yes, Mr. Caden. Yes, no problem. Thank Take you. Care. All right, see you next week. Office of Graduate Admissions, Dre speaking. Oh, hey, Bill. Dre, I need to see you in my office ASAP, like right now. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right over. Okay. There's never any food in this house. Have you ever thought about getting a job? Excuse me? We need to talk. About what? Hey, Bill, you want him to see me? Hey, Dre. Yes, guess who I just got a uh, visit from? President Hebb. Oh, lucky you. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's what I was saying. But uh, as you know, our graduate numbers are down, and the state is going into some major budget cuts. And she is concerned because we're not getting the numbers up right now. And you Nobody's know getting the numbers up right now. You know, We're kind Dre, of in this recession. <laughs> you, you know, at, at, at a time like this, we have to look at ourselves as hunters. We have to go out and we have to, you know, aggressively seek those students. And we got to get them to sign. I mean, whatever it takes. So I need you and your people to get in your cars. You're going to be going to those schools. You're going to be going to those fairs. You're going to get these students to sign on the line. Oh, whatever absolutely. it takes. You okay? don't. You don't suggest we do anything unethical, then, though, right? Jeff, how many job interviews have you been on this week? This again? Yes, this again. It's serious, Jeff. Been on four interviews this week? No callbacks. No callbacks. Well, this is going to be a tough conversation, Jeff. Do you know that your student They're loans... They're all tough conversations. Yeah, they are. Well, this is reality, okay? Reality, and I need you to listen. We're at a point where your student loans are due. I, I looked at your mail. I'm just going to be up front. I looked at your mail and I opened it. Well, that's no different than any other day. Well, so. it's serious, <coughs> Jeff. Do you know how much? No, I didn't look at it. You did. Yep. Okay, you can quit with the attitude, okay? Um, it's going to be $400. Do you have $400? No, but I'm going on job interviews. You know it's a tough economy. It's not like they're hiring left and right. I'm trying. I, and you know what? You're right. You are trying. There is something you need to consider. I've been reading a great book, and you the books. I, I knew you were going to say that. But listen, it had a really good idea. Dre, your numbers are down. This is our job on the line right here. So you, whatever it takes, I can guarantee that they're going to get into the school. We can get them some loans. We can get them lodging. We can get them you know, uh, beds in the residency hall. So whatever it takes. Do you hear what I'm saying? Is that clear? I understand. I'm, this is your job on the line. Okay, I'm gonna hold you to this. You need to get your people out. You need to get those students to sign whatever it takes, okay? All right. All right, thank you very much. Let's get back to work. You know, in this world today, you really can't get far with the Bachelor's of Science degree. And, and plus you got it in philosophy. I'm proud of you, but I mean, come on, you're not getting a job. No, Jeff. I can BS with the best of them. I've heard it before, okay? <laughs> Listen, I your dad and I have been talking. And I really think that you need to consider going back to school. I just finished six years, but five think, years of school. See, I can't even count. It's been so long. But think about it. You would be more competitive if you would consider a, like an MBA, a master's in 
business, something more marketable, and it's your graduate degree. I really think you can do it. I already have tons of student loans. Yeah, but get this. If you go back to school, they'll defer your loans while you're in school. Isn't that cool? Your dad and I can't afford it, Jeff. I cannot pay the $400. I really? Okay. Well, <clears throat> so today, I think today you should go down to the university. What else do you have going on? Today? Yes, today. I'm supposed to be filling out more job applications. Well, you can do that when you get back. But let's go to the university first, okay? Let me think about it. I'm going to go play some Xbox, and uh, I'll think about no. it. <laughs> no, no. We're not going to play Xbox today. In fact, the reality, Jeff, this is serious. If you don't do it today, the Xbox is out of here. Crap increase enrollment in this economy? Easy for them to say. They should be happy that we haven't seen a dramatic decrease in our numbers. <sighs> okay, I can do this. I don't really have a choice. I have to do this or I could be out of a job. But how? And at what cost? Okay, so. That's reality. If I go reality. down there and I apply, to a graduate program, mm -hmm. you'll get off my back. Yes, I need you down there today. And I, you know what, I need proof that you've applied. I need to see the application. Okay. Okay. I'm going. Thank you, Jeff. Is this graduate admissions? Yes, it is. Oh, Welcome hi. to the university. Oh, Come on you. in. I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Dre. Have a seat. Oh, well, thank you. So, Jeff, what brings you by today? Well, I was considering um, going to get my graduate degree. Well, you've come to the right place. Well, I, I just graduated from VCU. Congratulations. With a, a BS in philosophy, so thank you. Mm -hmm. But um, I've been applying for jobs and haven't been getting them. Um, my mom's been on me to get out of the house. But I'm also concerned about incurring you know, more student loan debt um, and whether that's really going to get me a job. Is this program going to guarantee that I get a job? Well, hey Dre, how you doing? Oh, hi Dr. Caden. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Bill Caden, Vice President of Admissions. How you doing? Oh, I'm great. Thank you. Good. Good. You, Good. you uh, finding everything okay? Oh, yes, sir. Dre treating you okay? Yes, sir. Definitely. All right. Well, we're so glad to have you here. You know, uh, coming back to graduate school is a right decision. We're going to get you set up. You know, you're going to be prepared for that job as soon as you graduate. You know, I have all the faith in the world. If you need anything, just feel free to ask Dre. She'll make it happen, okay? That's awesome. That's great. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. You take care of this guy. All right, Dre? Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Kate. Well, not every day you get to meet the vice president. Yeah. He's an energetic guy. <laughs> yeah. So um, you were mentioning about whether or not you'd be able to get hired, and I think they'd be a fool not to hire you, right? I mean, with your, your background, your credentials, our program, I think it's the perfect package. Great. So actually, while you're here, if you want to go ahead and complete this application, I can take that from you today and we'll waive the application fee for you. Waive the application yeah. fee? Yeah. That 50 is bucks. a deal. I mean, you know, I understand. Money's tight right now. Um, I think I'd like to take this home, talk it over with my mother, and then um, get back to you. Can I do that? <sighs> How can I suggest him going further into debt just so I can get him out of my house? 